What's up creatives and welcome to another Romeo show. Today I am going to be showing you how to draw a full on face using the Riley method. It's kind of like the Loomis method which I've already showed you as well but this is going to be the Riley method that I'm going to be showing you. So what are we all waiting for? Let's roll intro. <laughs> What's up everybody? How is everyone? Hope everyone is all good and had a good week and also had a good Easter too. Hope you all enjoyed it and didn't get too full up on Easter eggs and chocolate and all of that sort of stuff. And if you're new here, my name is Romeo. I am a sketch and motivational artist uploading art therapy videos and how-to videos every week on a Tuesday and Wednesday basis. I also have a Redbubble store where I create and design images for t-shirts, for cushions, mugs, phone covers, um, stickers, all that sort of stuff. There's a various, there are various uh, designs on there that I've um, added. I've also added a few new ones on there. So if you're into your um, your tropical sort of theme, or quite a few designs based on the tropical side to it. So there's a lot of jungle themes in there for patterns. They're really cool on dresses. I've also have a flamingo one. And also if you're into your fishing too. So if you know someone that's into their fishing, I have quite a few fishing type of uh, designs on there as well. But not only a Redbubble store, because I have an Amazon store too, where I upload my, where I, where I design and create books, where I design and create books, various books from coloring books to notebooks. And there's going to be some other new books coming onto that um, store very soon too. The last one that I did, which is an absolute brilliant one, it's a, it's a really cool book. It's going to help you when you are for when you are doing any of my art therapy videos, especially the Mandela drawings as well. This book in particular is um, you can get it from the Amazon store. This book in particular is one that it has um, inside of it. You will see that there are um, there are diagrams in there. There is a template of a circle inside of a really nice pretty border all you have to do is you, you can either follow along to one of my tutorials or the, in the book itself there are helpful hints and there's a reference sheet at the end of the book that if you want to copy the designs of these mandala patterns you can do so as well but but you can you know grab the book from the amazon store and you know follow along to all my to all my tutorials now on the mandala drawings especially the round circle ones it's great for that because all of the pages inside there are all the templates and you don't have to sit there and draw any of the templates. Just pick up that book and draw yourself um, a nice Mandela picture as well. All the links for all my stuff are in the description below. So moving on to today's tutorial, we are going to be showing, I'm going to be showing you how to draw using the Riley method, this face here. So it's going to be the front place, the front of, of a face it is. It's going, I'm going to be showing you all the ins and outs of how to correctly position the eyes, the nose, the cheekbone areas, the forehead, the, uh, the ears, all that sort of thing. I've already done a video um, based on facial proportions uh, using the Andrew Loomis method. Um, you can check that out on on my uh, on one of my playlists. The um, but this one in particular is the Riley method. It's still the Loomis method as well, but it's going into that little bit more advanced and a little bit more technical in um, a lot of the way you draw a lot of the curves and the lines and um, drawing all the planes and and um, all that sort of stuff of the uh, of the face. It is a bit of a complicated one. It's a bit of a hard one. It is. Um, it, I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, you can follow along as well, but you may need to rewind back because there are going to be so many lines being drawn on this page on on that on that piece of paper, especially for that face. Um, you may get it may get a bit it may get a bit confusing, but nonetheless, here is the video. What were you waiting for? Let's roll on. Right. Okay. So. Before we get down to doing this tutorial, I'm just going to show you, telling you that we're going to be starting off using the Loomis method first, and then we're going to be progressing on to using the O'Reilly method of drawing the facial proportions of a face. If you haven't already seen my facial proportions using the Loomis method, there is a, um, a link just at the top there. Click on that link and you'll be able to have a quick, uh, have, a, have a watch of that video and get a good perspective and a good idea of um, the, the, the different positions, different placements of um, using the Loomis method to create the uh, the front of a face and the side of a face as well. This is going into that little bit more in depth with it. This is going to be showing you a few more um, of the lines that you will need to use for when creating a face. Um, the Loomis method gave you the basic um, look of it. The uh, the Riley method, the Frank Riley method, the one we're going to do today, is going to be that little bit more advanced. There's going to be a few more lines in there. There's going to be, it's going to get a little bit more complicated when you're looking at it. 
but in the end it really does sort of help you out for when you are going to be drawing a face i mean you're not going to have to you don't have to use this template every time you draw someone's uh, face or anything like that it just gives you a good rough idea of the um the basics of placing placements of eyes cheekbones ears the chin the nose things like that um equally and proportionally uh, when i say equally not everyone's face is going to be equal or uh, it's not going to be in proportion or anything like that but it just gives you that rough idea of it so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with just our basic circle first this is going to be the front of our face obviously not everyone's face is going to be round this is this is going to be squared off as well but just to give us that rough idea and basic shape of the skull so here we have our circle and then once we've done our circle we're going to then divide this through the center now I'm going to move, do that a little bit more rounded more like it now once we have this now what we're going to do is just do a vertical line through the center to half the face and then we're going to do another horizontal line through the center area of our circle. Usually find that at the widest part of your circle. Now this is not representing where the eyes are going to sit. The eyes are not going to sit here. This is basically the brow line area. It's not where the eyes are, but it's where the brow line is going to be. I'm going to square this off now. Because we know that people don't have completely round faces. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to square that off into a nice little square. Now equally what we've done now is we've now added in our hairline and the base of our nose. So this is where the nose will be, the bottom of our nose. I'm just going to raise that out slightly little move it up a little bit just so it's a little bit more on the central side to it just so that's a little bit more equal there we go so this is our hairline oh, sorry uh, our brow line hairline the base of the nose now we're going to add in our chin so to add in our chin, we're going to take this section and this equal section and we're going to place it here where this line is here, this mark here. So you take that section, the equal amount, that equal amount and that equal amount and you're going to place it here. So here is where our chin, the base of our chin will go. And then to add in our jawline and our chin area now, we're going to take this point from these points here and they're going to come in to this point. So we're going to bring this down. And it's going to curve in. Same thing on the opposite side. As you bring it down now towards the chin is going to start to curve it in and now we have 
our side, uh, the jaw area and chin area done of, of my, not my face, of our face, of this face. Okay, so you should end up with something looking like that. Now what we're going to do is add in our nose area and the eye area. And to do that, what we're going to do is this area here, we're going to divide this into three equal parts. So we're going to put a notch here and a notch here. So you've got three equal parts to the middle of that face there. Now we're going to do a horizontal line here. This is where the eyes, the bottom of the eye is. Our eyes will fit inside this area. And that's our brow line area there. Okay. Once we have that, we're going to add in our nose now. So we're just going to roughly just guess that to be about here. And the same thing here as well. So this is our nose, the width of what our nose will be. Now I'm just going to place this part of the bottom of our nose. I'm just going to place a tiny little arc in there to represent the bottom of our nose. And then I'm going to add another little arc in here for our nostrils, like so. So you end up with something like that. And then we're just going to just round that off just at the bottom one there for the base of our nose. And now what we're going to do is add in the keystone area of the middle part of our eyes and the eyebrow area and the, the bone part of our nose as well. So to do that, we're going to place another curve that's going to come from this point of the top of the nostrils. It's going to come in towards the, no the middle of the nose and it's going to come out to this point here. So we're going to bring a curve in through here and it's going to end up like that. So now we have the nose and our keystone part. And now we're going to do the sides of our nose, which is going to be from this point to the edge of our nose. And that's going to be a, a curve like this. So now we have the nose area completed. So that's going to be where our nose is going to be. So we now we have the sides of our nose. Nose area done. We're gonna move on to where the mouth area would be. So just like how we did the sections here where we sectioned them off into three equal parts, we're going to do the same thing with our mouth area. So we're just going to place a notch here and one here. So we've got three equal parts to our mouth area now. And what we're going to do is we're going to place a circle that's going to represent our muzzle area of for around the mouth. It's where pretty much where the uh, where the mouth resides, you know, inside of this circle area is where the teeth um, will be. Uh, and, and it just also gives you that little point of where you smile and you get that little bit that comes around from the side of your nose area here as well. So we're just going to add that point in now and that's going to come from this point, this area here, to this point here. So from that notch to that notch. I'm just going to place in a circle. Through there now. And from here as well. And this is where, like I was saying, this is where you're inside here. This is the mouth area. This is where the teeth will all be inside this part.
obviously when you're drawing these things, you won't have to draw this on every time you're drawing a picture. This is just your, your reference and, your, and, and a quick little guide into drawing it. And now we're going to add in our cheek area. Now, if you notice that when you smile at the bottom of your cheek, you have that little bit of skin there, and that gives you that sort of that triangle type of look on your cheek areas here. And the way we're going to do that is by using this point here, and it's going to come round to this area of our cheek. So it's going to come up. and round towards this point. And this gives us our cheek area now. Like so. Do the same thing on this side. Bring it round. Now we have our cheek area. So now we have our cheek area now done for the sides, for the front of the face. Let's bring that out a little bit more. You don't have to try and make it as exactly the same as the opposite side because obviously nobody's face is. But it does help. So there we have that area now done. Okay, but before we move on to that, we're just gonna add in our chin area here. So that's gonna be another oval shape and that's gonna just form around here. So this is gonna be where our chin will be that protruding part of your chin. And it will just overlap the muzzle area that we drew earlier. So now we have the chin part done. Okay, so now we're gonna be moving on to the side planes of the face. And by starting that off first, we're just going to mark in the mouth area. And then the side part of our plane of the side of our face is going to start from these corners here and they're going to come round to this part of where our cheek line that we placed in earlier is going to reside. So it's going to bring that round and it's just going to come round and towards the bottom of the nose there like this. So now this is going to be the sides planes of our face. And then adding another line for the side plane of the face, it's going to be from the edge of the mouth and it's going to come up to this point where we did our side part of our face there. So that's gonna come round. So we're gonna just bring it round like this. And it's just gonna meet the corners of our mouth. Now this is for the sides of our face now. Like so. I was saying if you need to rewind this back and, and look for it again, it can get a little bit confusing. There's so many lines that you're doing. But it is a big, big help. So now we've got the side parts of our face now done. Okay, so for the next part we're going to do is going to be adding in our ear area. And for this part, it's a little bit tricky to do, um, to, to create this curve, um, but you want to try and make them as equal to each other as possible. 
And what we're going to do is, if they're going to start off from this corners of the mouth, and they're going to end at this point of our head. So the line is going to come in towards the nostril area, and it's going to come out to this point here, like so. And what this basically does, this also now gives us the tip and top point of our ear. And then as we bring this down, then the bottom of the ear is going to be where the bottom of our nose is. So these points here is where the bottom of our ear will go. So we just add in our ear. And it's the same thing on this side. It's going to come towards the nostril area. And it's going to come up and round towards this corner here. Just bring it in. And then I'm just going to bring it out a little bit more. Curve it round. And do the bottom of our ear. So now we have our ears done as well now. So you saw how those lines were created from the edges of the mouth, coming up towards the nostril area, coming to that corner point on both sides, and then making our ear, the base of the ear, the bottom of the ear, is going to be where the bottom of that line for our nose is there. Right, so now that we've got the tops of our ears now done, what we're going to do now is just going to, as we can see here, this is where the sides of the head is going to be. As we know that no one's got straight sides of their head, we're just going to just curve it in, curve it around just slightly. So it's not so straight. Same on that side. And now what we're going to do is just add in the temple parts of our head. So from doing that to, to get those lines, what we're going to do is use these corner points here. And the arc and the curve that we're going to create is going to finish at this point here. So this is where the temples of our face are going to sit. So we're going to bring this round, we're going to bring it in towards the head, and it's just going to come round here like that. So this is our temple area. Now what this also does, not only does it give it the temple area of our head, but also is the ending points of where our eyes are going to be. These points here of the width of our nose is going to be the beginning part of our eye. And this point here is going to be where the eyes are going to, uh, that's where the eyes will stop. And to create that, we're just going to pop an arc in through this point and this point. And this is going to be the oval shape of the eye, just bring it around here like that. And there we have the beginning part of our eye done. And then to create the tear duct part, these corner bits here, we're going to place a diagonal line in there and one in there. I don't know if you can hear that, but I think that's the ice cream man outside. <laughs> and there we have that eye pipe. I'm going to fill that in with a bit of colour, just so we can see it separated off.
Now we have the eye area done. Okay, once we've done the eye area, what we're going to do is place another arc that's going to come from the tear duct to this point here. Now this is going to be our brow line. Not really how the brow is going to be. We're not going to sort of draw an eyebrow in this point. But what this area here gives us is the information of that where structurally on your face, if light was to hit at this point on the face, this point here is the most highest point of your eyebrow, which is where that bone part is, and it's where the light is going to hit it. So it gives you that idea of this point here is where the bone is going to be. So if you are shading around or anything like that, and there's light hitting your, your image, or the picture that you're drawing, this is going to be the raised area through this point here for the eyebrow area. Okay, and then with that information now, we can then create the top part of the eyebrow. And by doing that, we're going to section this part of the forehead off again by placing a central notch there, one there, and one here, equal distances. And then this just gives us of where the eyebrows, what gives you that, that, that part of the, the, the face it does, where the eyebrows will probably be sitting around that point there, and that's the bottom of the eyebrow. Now there's other bits that you can add to this as well, like the front frontal area of the forehead where that can protrude and stick out. And with that, we're going to just place another oblong shape that's going to come from here to the top there like that. This being the now front part of the forehead. Like so. And then we're going to come in and now do our lips. So we're just going to put the bottom of the lip in here. And then the top of the lip. And then you'll find that there's an oval shape that's part of the mouth area that resides above your lip there as well. So there we have it. The Riley method of drawing a face. Now if you was to start adding in um, the highlights, so if you, let's imagine you want to add the shades in and because this basically can help you in controlling your colouring and your shading in techniques as well by doing by following this sort of example. Here you'll see that if the light was coming from this area, here would be your most darkest points of the face, your ear, and then obviously these points here would be also the darkest points too. And obviously these bits here will also be quite dark of our side of our face. And then you've got the cheekbone areas, which will be that slightly little bit more lighter, because obviously the light will be hitting it, but it'll be sticking away from the face, whereas this is going to be sunk in to the face it is. So this is going to be that, that's going to be that little bit more darker than these areas here. And you've got this point here, that's going to be quite dark. This part of the eyebrow, of the eye as well. This is going to be lighter because obviously if our light, is, if your light was hitting there as well, then at this side would be lighter. But if the light source is here, that's going to be a little bit more darker too. And that's going to be a little bit more lighter. And then you can sort of carry on with your shading in, getting that a little bit more lighter as you get towards the centre of your picture. That will be darker through there as well. 
and obviously the temple area that would be quite dark and there we have the face so you can see by using the Riley method and the Loomis method as well that it's you know it can get that little bit more complicated but this gives you this is a good this is a good little uh, it's a good little test but it was also a good little um, exercise to do to control and to create proportional amounts for the eyes where the temples are going to be the ears the lips the nose you know the eyebrows it gives you a good idea and a good uh, example and gives you good practice in drawing a face I mean you can take these marks you can take these markings find yourself a picture on the internet and I guarantee you if you add these areas to it you will find that these areas are proportionally correct in drawing a face you can do it to any picture that you find on the internet or anything like that and create these over the picture and you'll see what I mean by how proportionally those those um, these lines are to when you are drawing a picture so here we go folks hope you enjoyed this video and wasn't too hard for you like I say if you do find it a little bit complicated you can always rewind back and um, just carry on sort of listening watching it until you get a good idea of um, how to draw the front of a face and if you haven't if you, if you want to check out the Loomis method as well that is also on my playlist as well that's a little bit more simpler form drawing the front of the face and the side of the face as well and um, the link is in the uh, description below but it was also there was a link at the top there too so thank you again for watching hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and i shall see you guys soon thank you and how was that video for you guys hope you all enjoyed that if you enjoyed that video give us a like and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button click that bell one turn on notification so you know when i upload a new video and that's the end of the show, folks. Um, I shall, even though everything is all going to be back to normal again from next week, as they say, well, kind of normal. So from the 12th of April, everyone's going to be back into work. They're all going to be going back, especially myself. I'll be back into work again from next week. The um, I'll be back into the hairdressing side of it again. I'm still going to be doing this channel. I'm still going to be doing my art therapy videos. Still going to be uploading onto the Red Bubble and doing my other stuff still. But going to be doing the hairdressing as well because everybody's going to be wanting their haircuts and I've already been getting quite a few messages from people who's already saying when am I coming back to work <laughs> but nevertheless I'll still be here still doing the tutorials still doing the videos so no so make no mistake of that one and that's the end of the show folks thank you all again for watching if you haven't already hit that subscribe button click that bell and turn on notifications so you know when I upload a new video my name is Romeo, this is Romeo Sketches, signing off. Peace out.